What's up, everybody? Um, I'm out here. It's uh, January 16th. Just checking the line. Um, we got one yesterday. Here's the entrails. That's going to go uh, to bait my weasel traps, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, here we are at snare number one. Zoom in, as you can see, nothing there. No action, still set up just as I had it, so that one hadn't been touched. All right, at the flag, snare number two. Man, it's a nice set, but no action. Um, that one's been up for like a week and a half and hasn't been bumped. So I'm gonna pull that and relocate it. Coming up on set number three. Um, I caught two out of this area and one out of this trap before. So let's have a look, see. Oh, I see fur. Yeah, all right. As you can see here, we got a snowshoe. Um, not a huge one, but a well caught one. Looks to be a net catch from here. Let's see what we got. Yep, right around the neck. Tied off well, and uh, yeah, good to go. So I've got enough out of this area. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this set as well, even though this is number two on the same set. I'm going to give these bunnies a break and uh, move to another location. All right here we are at another set. You know, when I set this originally, there was pretty heavy action in here, and I... I mean, I didn't catch anything, but there was a lot of sign. That's what I mean by heavy action, but... And I'm just not seeing anything even kind of remotely fresh. Doesn't look like it's been pushed or bumped, and it's been there for about a week and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one, too, and uh, move it to another location. All right, I figured I'd give you a quick tutorial on how I take these down and store them. Um, this is stainless steel wire, and it's nice because you can use it for a couple of rabbits. When it gets a kink in it, I make my, as you can see, I make my snares pretty long. If you've watched other videos on YouTube, I make mine about twice as long as other people. Um, and that's just so that when I get a kink in it, I can snip it and uh, remake the snare right there. And I don't have to pack in a whole other set of snares. Um, also, I uh, sometimes, you know, you just got to do a weird setup and the extra wire is really nice. Anyway, so what I do is I roll them up into a coil like this and then just take the end here Hold it around a couple of times. Kind of hold everything together. And then here's the secret weapon. I have some uh, a pipe tobacco tin um, that was flavored like cherry Cavendish. And for whatever reason, it seems like they enjoy that smell. Um, and let's face it, I enjoy that smell. So. That's what I store them in because it's just the perfect size and I can get, you know, like 30 of them in there. So, see you at the next set. What's up, everybody? Um, we're here at the next one and this is another one that looked great when I set it and it just hasn't had any action for like a week and a half now. So, I'm going to pull it and relocate it. Um, and sometimes that's how it goes. It's weird. I mean, this is my first year doing it, but it seems like Some of the more questionable spots I've put it have been the most productive that last one that you saw um, With the rabbit that one You know, it was bare ground. There was no pack down snow or anything, but it looked like there was like a nice Divot in the ground where something was using it frequently. So I went ahead and set it and I've taken two rabbits out of there um, The other one on my last video that you saw where I uh, had the rabbit, you know, underneath a branch. That was a real questionable set too. Um, and I've taken two rabbits out of there. I got another one yesterday that I didn't film. So, you know, if it looks good, set it. Can't hurt. And then if it looks questionable, set it. Can't hurt. Takes like five minutes. Anyway, I'll show you the set, and it's uh, it looks amazing to me. But I have pulled. It's got no action. I've, I've pulled nothing out of it. So, here, let's check it out. And if you look here, there is good rabbit sign 
um, and there's some poop back there and this trail is used heavily it's blocked off on both sides there's no other way out really um, and yeah I thought this was kind of a surefire deal but no action not even a bump so pulling it put it in another spot all right here we are at the weasel box and this is the one in the last video that had all of the uh, bait pulled out of it let's check her out there we are what do we got oh we got a field mouse or a vole or something that looks like it has been eaten by other field mice or voles anyway i'll just pitch her back in there as bait and uh we'll keep trucking but a catch is a catch i'm just not going to take much time to skin that bad boy all right we got a couple of good sets back here Let's see how we're doing That one is still set perfectly. Hadn't been touched. And that one is still set. Hasn't been touched, but that's all right. I pulled one out of here yesterday. All right, here we go. On my pink flagging tape. Here is another area that was... Uh, that's got some good rabbit sign and interestingly enough um, I fenced off this whole area to kind of force them through there and I think they're just a touch too smart for me because that right there has been pushed down and hopped over so I'm going to rebuild that fortify a little bit and see if we can't push them through that snare maybe we'll have some luck tomorrow there we go. Also, this is a new support uh, system I'm playing with. Taking a twig and pushing it into the ground and splitting it and running the wire through that to give just a little bit more support on these ones where you've got quite a distance to your tie-off tree. Um, we'll see how it goes. I usually, you know what I mean, use a wire hanger with a W bent in the end of it. And that's worked pretty good. And that other trap where the... Uh, you guys saw the last video, that's how that one was um, supported. This one, we'll see how it goes. I just need to get rabbits to go through here, and I think uh, we got a winner. Yeah, because they definitely been boogieing right through there. That little birch branch was sticking up there. This one here has been pushed out of the way. This one here has been knocked down. So we'll get that reestablished and uh, hopefully funnel them in there. You know, once again, um, I just want to express that I'm super thankful for the opportunity uh, to live in Alaska where we've got tons of state land, borough land that's all relatively easy to access, open to the public, and you can partake in uh, sports and activities like this providing you have the right licensure. It's also a real blessing to be able to put, you know, delicious uh, free range organic, all natural, cage free, whatever, whatever, right? The list goes on. Um, amazing food on the table for my family. This is going to be uh, rabbit stew or roasted rabbit or fried, like fried chicken. Um, there's so many ways to prepare these and they're delicious. So yeah, this makes number six on the season so far and uh, things are going pretty well. Um, I did pull quite a few traps because I don't want to trap this place out. Uh, I've got some, you know, this this line stretches over about two miles. So I pulled seven today. Uh, that means there's seven more still out there. And all of the rabbits have come within, you know, a half mile of that two mile area. Um, three of them from very close proximity, all within like 15 feet. So I definitely pulled my traps there because I don't want to trap that place out. Seems like there's good numbers. Anyway, um, I hope that watching me, you know, check my sets and uh, looking at corridors and discussing rabbit movement and things like that um, helps you a little bit and uh, go out and 
gather some food. It's great fun. Outdoors is a beautiful place. And uh, yeah, have a good time. Thanks.